Hello ladies and gentlemen, Nick here and I am here to deliver my five points that I would like to see in resolutions. Five things I would like to see or happen in resolutions. So, let's get started. Okay, number one, Daleks. Before Christmas Day, this was just a rumour. In the week between It Takes You Away and the Battle of Ranskor Av Kolos, uh, the Daleks were speculated, they were rumoured they were going to appear in Series 9. This got more people hyped up for the end of the last episode, if it would lead into or give us a sneak peek of the Daleks in resolutions at either the end of Battle of Ranskor Av Kolos or in one of the two trailers. The closest we got was the, do the Doctor just not being a not answering Grain's question, at least not in the trailer, we might see it in the episode. Everyone expected it's the Daleks. Of course, because it was just a rumour, we weren't certain, we weren't sure. It could have been something else, it could have been something completely different, something maybe new. People speculated that the Daleks might sneakily appear in Series 11 or the Christmas, later New Year special. At the Comic Con panel in July, Chris Chibnall said that they still had two weeks of filming left and no Daleks had appeared yet. Again, this built up the speculation, along with the fact that Chris Chibnall had said that there was no returning monsters or villains in the new series. This proved to be true, but it looks like the Daleks will be in the 2019 New Year special. He also said that they will not appear in 2018, which then provokes the thought that the Daleks will actually return in 2019 with the New Year special. On Christmas Day, we got the teaser again, showing a few times, but it was after the Jungle Book and before Zog that they played, in that teaser, the teaser trailer they played then, they added the Dalek voice and the exterminate, uh, the, the extermination beam sound effect. So, I think they pretty much confirmed that the Daleks are in the Christmas special without having to come outright and say, yes, they are in it. It's been rumoured that they're getting a new design similar to that of BB-8 from Star Wars. Hopefully not, because otherwise copyright, but maybe... Well, maybe they could look something like it, but not just be a ball with a head on top. But maybe some sort of ball shape, but I'm not sure. Firstly, I just like them to stick to the way they look, just maybe with some slight alterations, maybe some height alterations. Another rumour I've heard is that they're going to look, at least colour-wise, like their 1960s counterparts, blue and uh, silver. Yeah, that would look nice. The old one certainly looked, like, uh, look, looked nice in the Series 9 opener. So it'd be great to see those back again. Maybe the ones with the slats. As well as that, I would like to see the Dalek or Daleks as a bit of a threat. In the past couple of years, we haven't really seen them be much of a threat. They were hardly used in which is familiar, and Magician's Apprentice. The pilot only made a brief appearance. Whilst the last time Daleks killed people properly was into the Dalek, I don't think we saw it with the pilot and missing Clara escaped in the Magician's Apprentice. Then, into the Dalek was the last time we saw Daleks kill people. Well, on screen anyway. And the last time I think they were actually a formidable threat. Like, well, in terms of scale, uh, excluding the Time War, it would have been Journey's End, but in tone it would have been Parting of the Ways, and certainly that was a very Dalek episode. When they went down to Floor Zero on Platform 5, they basically just massacred everybody. That is probably the darkest Dalek moment to date, that is so Dalek. So with the Daleks in the New Year special, hopefully, then I would like to see uh, then be a bit more of a force to be reckoned with, like as we saw in Part of the Way's Journey's End, or at least as much as in Into the Daleks, at least we'll be back on the right track and heading that way. So, hopefully more threatening, more people dying, and just being a force to be reckoned with. If it's a lone Dalek, like in Dalek, then we hopefully will be able to see lots of carnage. It's certainly been a problem for a while, since the ninth century, so hopefully we'll see that. If it's a new monster, then again, hopefully we'll see what they can get up with and become probably the thirteenth Doctor, most the most notable thirteenth Doctor monster. Because at this moment, the most notable thirteenth Doctor monsters are Tim Shaw and the Pating. Series eleven had very weak. It was very weak when it came to villains and monsters and aliens. I think. Next series, we've got to have a bit more imagination when it comes to the aliens. Number two, 
Yasmin's character development. Out of the four characters in the series, Yasmin has had the least amount of development. She hardly does anything and she barely gets much development. The exceptions are usually when she's talking about her family and sometimes her job. I'd like to know a bit more about Yasmin's personality and background. She mentions that being occasionally in calls terrorist or racism or uh, racist comments that provided towards her. But maybe we can go deeper, maybe we can see a story about that. Maybe Yasmin tells us like she did about her friend. I think it was in a book and then they mention it later in an episode. But maybe Yasmin could talk about an experience of being called a Muslim or a racist or a, comment, a racist comment or being called a terrorist. Maybe we could see that. Or maybe we could develop some more of her police skills in series 11, she was told to take some sort of authority, but she doesn't seem to be taking that much. I do think she works well with the Doctor, but maybe also splitting her up and making her go with Ryan or with Graham would also help with the growth of the character. I think Graham and Ryan have had plenty of developments this series, and I think they only just need to expand it a little bit next series. But Yasmin definitely needs a lot more development. She just feels like she's there. She also needs to do much apart from just helping the Doctor. Oh, there are times when she helps, but I do think that she needs to have a bit more to do in the future episodes, and not just the ones that have her as the centre of attention or have her family in the mix. Maybe we could see a historical figure that she likes, like Rosa Parks, for example, but maybe someone that Ryan and Graham have missed under the radar or have only don't have as much of an interest in. So hopefully in this episode we'll see a bit more of a character for Yasmin and see how she can interact and maybe she could go off with either Ryan or Graham instead of the Doctor to work. I know lots of people want to see her and the Doctor team up maybe later on when the team, maybe if the team drops some of its companions, they expect Ryan and Graham to leave and Yasmin will be the only one with the Doctor, which would help with her character growth, but I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, but in the meantime, at least when it, with the four characters, then we definitely got to make some room at some point to help develop her. Otherwise, well, I'm not going to say she's going to become Clara. She's not got Clara amount of uh, character development. Clara had less than Yasmin, I think, and the same would go for some of the other companions. But Clara's probably the best comparison of the modern series. Ex excluding Adam, who had hardly any. I think Clara's the best comparison, and I think Yasmin's got a bit more, but if she doesn't get more, then she is going to become this, the 13th Doctor's Clara, in a way. And this includes when she, if she goes off with the 13th, if the 13th Doctor only takes her in a later series, if it's just those two. And so, yeah, if, but maybe by that time, they'll start developing her to be a bit more focused on to do. As certainly for this episode, we definitely need a little bit more than we've had already. At least to tease what she's going to do next series anyway. Number three, a strong story. Now this relates both to series 11 and past Christmas specials. Most people are not really fond of the Christmas specials due to their stories and more over-reliance on Christmas themes as opposed to a strong and good story for the most part. I do enjoy all of them, most, well, most of them, but yeah, I can see why some people are not so keen on some, especially the Moffat ones, who most of them are not that great, both story or enjoyment wise. And so I think certainly we need a stronger story for New Year, for New Year special. This is probably another reason why they dropped it, moved it from New Christmas to New Year, as well as the fact that they couldn't think of anything for Christmas. Yeah, I'm sure you couldn't. It's not like there's hundreds of other possibilities you could do. You don't even have to have it to Christmas thing. You could just have it as a light, enjoyable story. But what they've got with this story is that they've got a more New Year-centered story, so that, would, that should probably work. As for what I mentioned about Series 11, well, Series 11, I think, is a bit more of a stronger series than most of the Moffat ones. It's also not, it's not 100% perfect. I would put series 5 and 10, as well as 1, 2, 3 and 4, above series 11 in terms of a good series. I would probably put the remaining series, 6, 7, 8, 9, below it. Series 11 is actually in the bottom half of this, which is a disappointment because it's the first series of a Doctor, but maybe unlike Russell and uh, Stephen, maybe Chris 
maybe his better work is later down the line. Maybe instead of the first series being grand and then the next couple of series, it goes from really good to amazing, but still not quite as magical as the first one. Then maybe maybe it's the other way around for him. Maybe, he's, maybe the last series will be the best. Maybe it'll be something in the middle. Maybe it's one of the other ones. I'm not sure. Depends on how many he does. Series 11 wasn't quite as the spectacular series we were hoping for, but maybe as now series 12 is taking a year out to make itself even better, maybe series 12 will be the best series and it might be worth the wait like series 10 was, uh, but maybe even more. Anyway, that being said, series 11 was pretty much mixed bag in terms of stories. I mean, I personally thought they were all good at, be at worst, I thought they were okay at worst, and I'm um, Pretty amazing at best, but I don't think there was any that captured the same spirits as series is one, two, three, four, five, ten, and maybe even parts of six, seven, eight, and um, nine, just maybe one or two cases. Um, but certainly, it was most of the episodes were great, and most of the other episodes were pretty good. But you know, every series has got its fair share of really great episodes and not so great episodes. Uh, just depending on how high and low the scales can be, and the same for the middle. Number four, Bat Scarf. Need I say more? It looks great. In fact, it'd be great to add it to the costume full stop. Nice colours as well, nice and bright. So, yeah, just have the scarf. Looks great on Jodie anyway. And finally, number five, let's just have a great time. Let's just have a wonderful, enjoyable, great time. If the darkness are back, then lots of fun. Let's have a lot of fun. Yeah, it might be dark, but all the better to be honest, especially in, with the Daleks' concerned. So all, let's have everything comes to her. Great story, with great use of the Daleks, great use of the characters, especially Yasmin this time round, because she hasn't been greatly used that much in the series. And just have a great time, and throw the scarf in for good measure. And yeah, that's pretty much what I want to see from the New Year special. And oh, and if it is, if it, I think it is just gonna be res resolutions, but it could potentially be resolutions of the Daleks, which would be great, it would tie in. Oh, that brings up to another point I would like to mention. If they, if they do have it as resolutions of the Daleks, then could we also have Davros? This would be the fourth R, uh, fourth Dalek story with a R starting off the title, so like Resurrection, Revelation and Remembrance. This would be the fourth, if, if, it, if it's rev Resolutions of the Daleks, then this would be the fourth one of those. And those other three had Davros, so maybe we could have Davros back as well? Both cases of the title being Resolutions of the Daleks and having Davros back if it is, or Davros back anyway, is, un is very unlikely. I think it will just be Resolutions. But then again, Invasion of the Dinosaurs Episode 1 was just called Invasion to keep the secret of who was invading a secret until the very end of the episode, and then Episode 2 to 6, it was the full title. So, yeah. It, so it could so it could just be, say it's Resolutions at the moment, but it might actually just be called, res, it might actually be Resolutions of the Daleks as they are, as it is speculated, so... You yeah, know, that would be great. It would be a great title, though. Resolution of the Daleks would probably be slightly better, but then again, res New Year's Resolutions. So, and if not, Resolutions is still a pretty good title as well. It ties in with the New Year theme. And, yeah, so that's pretty much, so that's a bonus point. That's a bonus, that's some bonus extra things. But mainly I want uh, good use of the Daleks, as the, if they are appearing, as the teaser implies. And Yasmin to get better as a developing, and hopefully it's a great story and a lot of fun, and we get to see that scarf. Okay, so thank you for watching. I shall see you guys in the new year for a new video, probably the Mutant Phase review, but we'll see. In that case, more Daleks. Yay! Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.